And may if I can direct your attention to the Brown Swiss Arena, these are the junior exhibitors and these are the first and second place heifers from uh, this afternoon's classes. I would like to introduce those. In the spring heifer calves, the winning entry was 675, lost down bigger silk from Tiona Tilaka from Kiwana, Wisconsin. The second place uh, spring heifer calf was entry 677, Discum Legacy Rihanna from Michelle Flutie from Bloomington, Illinois. In the winter heifer calves, we had 25. The winning entry was 737, Palin Lay Tipster B from Hannah Carey of St. Thomas, Pennsylvania. And the second place winter heifer calf was entry 716, Cutting Edge Secret D from Kyle Barton of Ancrumdale, New York. In the fall heifer calves, there was a total of 33 shown. The winner was 765, Top DeMarc, Parker Fanny from John Paul Raguski of Modesto, California. The second place fall heifer calf was entry 763, Top DeMarc, Parker Frisky from Elise Raguski of Modesto, California. In the summer yearlings, there was a total of 24 head. Entry number 790 was the winner of the class, Jaden Premium Nestia from Hayden Hoshilt of Ellsworth, Wisconsin. And the second place in the class was entry 809, Tobran Gal Beauty from John Paul Raguski of Modesto, California. In the spring yearlings, there was a total of 31 head shown. The winner was 847, Cutting Edge P.S. Joyce from Elizabeth Marie Raguski of Modesto, California. The second place in the class in the spring yearlings was 842, Cutting Edge Ag Selma from Michael Barton of Ancrumdale, New York. In the winter yearlings, there was a total of 16 head in the class. Entry 849 was a winner, Taupath Agenda Dancer from Kyle Barton of Ancrumdale, New York. And the second place winter yearling heifer was 855, Arthurst Elevation Flare from Kirsten Sprengler of Plato, Minnesota. In the fall yearling heifers, there were 16 in the class. The winner was 899, Apple, Ray, Apple Rose Agenda Anna Jamma from Kirsten Oshels from Fenimore, Wisconsin, and the second place fall yearling was entry 880, Leanne's Jig Time London from Amanda Frank of DeWitt, Iowa. And ladies and gentlemen, these are the juniors. Many of them traveled a long ways, all the way from Modesto, California, to Ancrumdale, New York, that's represented out there in front of you right now. Let's give them a big round of applause and show us our appreciation. Ladies and gentlemen, uh certainly it makes it fun when you got this kind of quality in a junior show. I think it's a, it's a great, great thing to see. The more years we go on in this business, how these juniors are coming out with animals that are so outstanding. And in the open shows, they're banging right at the top. And all these heifers are right near the top. Let's give them another big round of applause. This is a really nice to see the quality we have here. I pulled these uh, four heifers out here to me. These are the four individuals taking nothing away from this group. Four individuals that are, are tremendous individuals. We have the senior calf that was second in her class. She's long as a freight train. She's stylish, she's angular. She's, she's a real quality heifer. I'd maybe like to clean her up on this hawk on this side a little bit if I was gonna be real nitpicky. Um, but a heifer you really admire for the length of her frame. The summer yearling, a heifer that actually deceived us in the class, we pulled her second. And when she got in there, you don't realize because she's so balanced. She's got a beautiful rib structure. She's actually really big for the end of July. A heifer, it's a young heifer in her class, and she's got that beautiful balance of frame. Uh, you hear about me talking about balance all the time. I love balance. And to me, this heifer gives me that balance of frame all the way through. Then we had the uh, June yearling that we, we moved around a little bit in her class. She ended up second. I have her the uh, admirer when she's on the move. She's got tons of style, a long neck, a heifer that's uh, really angular, really long. If I was being a nitpicky a little, I'd like to maybe just harden her up in the center of that top all the time when she stops. But a heifer that's got so much style and length. Then we got the winter yearling. She's a deceiving heifer. Her coloration makes her look like she's not dairy. But when you get in close to her, she's plenty dairy enough. The heifer's angular, she's clean. Uh, she walks out beautiful on her foot and leg. I'd maybe like to lengthen around that neck a little, prettier up in the head a little if I was gonna change her. But a heifer, it's gonna make a really nice cow and looks tremendous underneath. 
But when I go out and pick my champion, reserve, and honorable mention, I'm going I'm to tap them, and then I'm going to give you my reasons why. And let's, even if you don't agree with me, give these juniors a big round of applause when I do this, because it's real nice to see. I just feel this uh, summer yearling, like I say, I love balance, and she's got the balance. You can just walk her right up here. And she's a heifer when she moves out, you really admire the rib, the dariness, the angularity. And to me, she's cleaner in her hawk today on her right leg. She's a little crisper on the top, and she's a little deeper in her rear flank today than the beautiful senior calf. The senior calf over the winter yearling just gives me that little more ounce of angularity today. Just that little more length of neck and a little more angularity through her over this really well-balanced heifer and honorable mention. Congratulations to these juniors. Thank you. Yes, let's give him a big round of applause. Uh, the junior champion for this year's International Brown Swiss Show in the junior division is entry number 790, Jaden Premium Nastia from Hayden Hashild of Ellsworth, Wisconsin. Congratulations. The reserve junior champion, entry 765, top to mark Parker Fanny from John Raguski of Modesto, California. 